Hey guys, it's Nick, and we're going to have an unboxing here today, but I want to first let you guys in, we're getting so close to 1,000 subscribers on this channel. At this point of me recording this video, we're 62 subscribers away from hitting 1,000 on the channel. I want to let you know if you know anyone looking for a Blackhawk channel, let them come by and um, just enjoy the channel because we have these unboxing videos. Right now, it's the Calder Cup playoffs for the Rockford Ice Hogs, and I've been covering those. And we have more to come. This channel is not done in the off season. The uh, draft lottery is less than a week away, and that is a big day for us. If the Blackhawks could land the first overall pick knocking on wood it would be a great day for blackhawks hockey because we could be in for a fun time because that could be the future of this organization coming to the blackhawks but first we have a video on unboxing a jersey i brought this jersey up with me to chicago on the Actually, on April 13th, the final game of the regular season, took it to the Blackhawks store to get customized. It came back today on April 25th, which, okay, that was really quick. Less than a week, basically, because they probably got it back in. Yes, uh, it says it went into the mail yesterday, so it's now here. We got the jersey back. Um, I... Was going to get a dump from player on it. We'll get into that. Um, but let's open up this uh, box and get to the jersey, shall we? As um, it is a going to have a Blackhawks alumni at this point because he is retired. And it does have a 2010 Stanley Cup final patch. No one's remaining from them anymore. So it's a... Don't for a player I went with. You may think, okay, maybe I went with a player like um, Keith, maybe like a Taze, like a Kane, maybe a Hosa. Nope. I went, don't for it. I went with Soup. Yes, I went with Soupy on the jersey. Brian Campbell on the back of this jersey. Which turned out really nice. Uh, proper nameplate, which is awesome. Um, and the 2010 Stanley Cup final patch, which turned out good on the jersey. This is a Reebok Edge 1.0, so it's the um, first gen Edge jerseys, which honestly are one of my favorite generations because there's water resistant the water beads right off the jersey which is awesome and they're very comfortable to wear and it was still new with tags which is even more impressive when i bought this jersey it was a blank jersey to buy and i got it back so I was going to do someone else on this jersey. Brian Campbell ended up being the backup plan because um, the Blackhawks store had some rule changes with customization on if you get alumni players. They have to be on their alumni list. And the player I was going to get, honestly, was our goalie in the 2010 Cup Final and Antti Niami. He was not on that list. So I went with Soupy on this. I do already have a Brian Campbell jersey that was on my 2017 Winter Classic. But I think a 2010 Stanley Cup Final red home jersey works because Campbell was honestly a great player to have on that Blackhawks roster back in the 2010 run. And this thing turned out great. Uh, of course, this is a on ice authentic so it has the chain stitching on it and it turned out great having brian campbell on a um nice on ice authentic is a good choice would i like to have anti niami yeah honestly because i kind of want to get a goalie have a goalie jersey for each 
a cup run, so I would have to get two more Crawford jerseys. Oddly enough, Crawford's not even on that list yet. Hopefully, he becomes part of it. Um, so I ended up going with number 51, Brian Campbell, who actually still works for the Blackhawks front office, which is awesome to see. So let's get this thing on, shall we? So Brian Campbell, a favorite player of mine, underrated in my opinion, and I just poked my eye out. Oh, my God, that hurt. But Brian Campbell was one of my favorite players in the NHL when he played. He was a good defenseman for this team. And when he came to us, it was a key uh, point for the Blackhawks going into the future. They had a hard time getting free agents to come to Chicago, and he was the first of the big ones to come to Chicago before the cup runs. Brian Campbell, then it was Marion Hosa as the next big one. And Campbell helped out the Blackhawks blue line in that cup run. He ended up getting the assist in the to Patrick Kane in the final goal for the Stanley Cup winning goal. And I think this is a cool jersey. So um, be sure to be ready for more content to come. Rockford Ice Hog uh, versus Texas Star uh, series preview should be out tomorrow, um, the 26th, maybe the 27th. So is up in air on when I'm posting it um, for the upcoming playoff series between the Ice Hogs and Stars. And we shall have more content to come. And thank you for watching the broadcast. Please leave a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And most of all, let's go Hawks.